Hey everybody, Dwayne Blair here with the NSDA. I hope you're doing well. We've had a couple questions come in just about the ends of our sticks. So the knob of our stick and how we make the knob and how, how players, you know, it, a lot of it's just player preference. So when you look at the, you know, the butt end of a hockey stick, the top part of a hockey stick, you'll see some players that love a lot of tape on there. They have a huge, almost like an ice cream cone. You'll see some players that, like mine's not very big. I like it, I like small, just a little bit of tape on it. Some players will tape all the way down the top of their stick. It's again, all personal preference. But as player, when players are young, one thing you gotta think about too is the hand size, right? So if I have a really, really a lot of tape on the top of my stick, then it's really cumbersome for players to get their hands around and it's harder to control that stick. So just having something that, that makes sense for that player on how they're holding that stick and, and how big their hands are. As they get older, they're gonna have their own comfort levels on what they want and how much tape they wanna use. One other thing that came up was, how do I hold my stick properly? So do I hold it at the end of my stick like this? Do I hold it over the tape, right? Do I hold my finger over the tape? And again, that's gonna be something that players will figure out. If you give a young player a stick, after a week or two, they're gonna hold it kind of somewhat the way they hold it. Now, if you see a player holding it with that button sticking out, then you definitely want to, to address that right away. You wanna make sure that they're covered off. So you wanna make sure that they're covering the top of their, the top of their stick. Whether they hold it, with the butt end out a little bit like this, that's fine. With their kind of with the top of their hand over that stick, that's fine. Or I prefer I kind of hold it with the palm of my hand on, on the on the butt end of my stick and my my pinky finger wrapped around it. That's just how I've always held my stick. Um, but I have seen a lot of different variations on that, so it's it's not a big deal. The biggest thing with that top hand is got to remember it controls our stick, right? That's the hand that's going to control our blade. So we really want to make sure that we're, we have comfort there and we're able to control and manipulate that blade the way you want to. So keep an eye on that. Try different um, styles on, on the butt end of that stick. So try different styles, whether you, you know, have a, put a little more tape, a little less tape, whatever, but try some different styles with your young player and see what they like and see what's comfortable. And that's gonna help their overall feel their stick, which is gonna help their, their shooting, their puck handling, and all the stuff that goes with it.